This Sunday, the Vikings will take on the Titans at U.S. Bank Stadium. There won't be any fans in the stands, but there will be giant pictures of the Viking faithful. What's the story with those cutouts? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. What is it like in a game with no fans? It is the most bizarre, mind-bending <laughs> experience I've ever had shooting sports. WCCO photojournalist Aaron Goodyear normally brings earplugs to Vikings games. It's like, you know, having your very own NFL game all to yourself. So while inside feels strange, a Vikings 4-3 outside, not so much. Can you tell a difference watching on TV? Uh, not really. Not so much so. It didn't feel a lot different. Once you look over the player's head and stuff, you you, you try not to gaze at the seats, but I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. you know, I hear a lot of crowd, but I don't yeah. see nobody. <laughs> Except for these 600 cutouts in the end zone. But really is one of the few ways to guarantee that, you know, you're going to get some TV time. Brett Tabor is the Vikings director of social impact. Well, something that first came known to us, uh, at least in our organization, seeing German soccer restart uh, way back in you know May and June. Fans submit a photo to the Vikings online. It's then blown up, printed out, and cut into the figure that fits into the seat. It costs $150, which all goes to charity. We have folks that are uh, putting their, their son or daughter that are away at college. And this week, look closely for Mike Max and Norman Seawright. You'll find Chris Carter, Randy Moss, John Randall, the Purple People Eaters, Bud Grant. We have four or five dogs in the stands and a couple cats on their way as well. And that's out number two. At Target Field, there's a whole pet and baby section among their 3,000 fans. And, here's Davis. and if you've been watching the NBA, there's Liam, Giannis's son. You know you can see live virtual fans front and center. You kind of see these virtual faces. Some are two times larger than the others. But with football, I haven't really, uh, it hasn't stood out as much. You're so conditioned to what an NFL game looks like in person and sounds like and feels like and now there's none of it. Heather Brown. And we don't know how long that'll last. Well, hopefully it's just this season. Um, WCCO. But I mean, can you imagine a Super Bowl like that? Four news. The Vikings will decide over the next two weeks if they will allow fans into their home game on October 18th.